Welcome to the Affiliate Marketing for Beginners tutorial plus an important warning. Now, before we jump in, I want you to know that there's no sales pitch coming. There's no webinar for you to register for. I don't even have an affiliate marketing course to sell you. But I have been making money online as an affiliate marketer since 2003, which is 17 years. And in that time, I've made millions of dollars online. And I'm here to share the shady side of our industry. That's the warning plus the right way to build this out so you understand how to do affiliate marketing. So let's start with that warning. Okay, there are a lot of shady scam artists in this space and they flock to YouTube and YouTube ads. You've probably already encountered them. They're always pressuring yes, you um, to get on their webinars. Yes, I have. Fake pre-recorded webinars where they're not actually there. They're using money guns to show mo throw money around. They're sitting and flexing on their Porsches and their Lamborghinis and they're telling you you can make $100 a day doing this and $400 a day doing that and you can just type names and make $30 an hour and it's all lies. Their entire business, I call these guys the fake gurus and the greedy gurus, and their entire business model is built around selling you scams. Now, there are a few, and I mean a very few, affiliate marketing courses that you can trust, but the real truth is that you can learn everything that you need if you're resourceful right here on YouTube. So in 2016, after having already made millions of dollars online, I started teaching everything I know for free. To date, I have over 630 videos. Well, I hope that uh, part of this learning process is him teaching us how he made millions of dollars in a couple of years because that would be helpful you know just start there A this is what you need to do B this is what you need to do now C then go and do this D you're rich um, you know, is that a free I don't even put ads on the videos to give you everything that you need to build out a successful affiliate marketing business because honestly I love the business and it's a great business model because affiliates fill a very good solid needed role between the consumer and the vendor so let's talk about what affiliate marketing is and how it works at this point in time now for a business affiliate marketing is a customer acquisition channel it's an alternative to advertising. And I'm just gonna give you a quick scenario so it can make really clear sense why this is a valuable channel for business owners. Let's say you sell a product and your product is a $100 product and it costs you, it's a digital product by the way, so there's no cost of goods in here. We'll talk about that in a minute, but it costs you $60 in Facebook ads to sell one product. That means you make $40 in profit for every product that you sell, right? Well, what if you built a 50% affiliate relationship and affiliates started bringing you customers and those customers from affiliates only cost you $50. This actually lowers your cost per customer acquisition by 10%, which means you have 10% more profit. And the honest truth is in this scenario, you're doing both of those things. You're gonna get as many customers as you can profitably from your advertising, but you're also going to get as many customers as you can profitably from affiliate marketing. So affiliates are essentially commission-only salespeople. And what affiliates do is they go out and create content. They go out and create marketing, and they market these products that they represent. <coughs> only when they create a sale through their specific link do they get paid. So in that sense, it's like building up a 100% commission-only sales force, and it's all digital and virtual. So let's talk a little tiny bit about the tactics. Now, I have a deep dive training on affiliate marketing that's over an hour long, and it goes through the 17-step process to build this all out. We're doing an overview here, and I want you to understand how the game works at this point in time. So let's say you have a big audience of people who are interested in gardening, and there's a certain uh, greenhouse manufacturer that you love their greenhouses, and you just want to share their greenhouses. You know, I just don't see that being a thing on this channel uh, greenhouses or gardening but I mean hey who knows it could happen well you go to their website and you scroll down in the footer and you look to see if they have affiliate program in the footer if you do if they do you click on that and you just apply there sometimes you need to go to Google and you actually need to type in the business name or the brand name and then type in affiliate to see if they have an affiliate program and I will say honestly, many business... I mean, 
I got this one going, you know, and I don't even, I don't think we ever even have to water it. That's green. It's, affiliate programs but they're not marketing them because there's too many scammers and spammers trying to get in and potentially devalue the brand so sometimes you actually have to email the company email their support and say hey do you guys have an affiliate program i got all this audience i love your stuff i want to share your stuff once you've filled out the application and you've gotten approved what happens is you get an affiliate dashboard and you can log in here and this is where you get your special links now your special links are embedded with your referral code and to not get too technical, it uses cookies. So when you click through oh, one of my affiliate links, cookies. Because it plants a cookie on your browser and it starts a clock. And there's something called a cookie duration. So on Amazon, this is as short as one day. It's 24 hours, which means from the initial click, you have 24 hours to generate a sale or else you don't get a commission. Most affiliate programs are a 30 day, 60 day, 90 day cookie duration. I would say 60 day is the average. And sometimes they go as far as one or two years. Okay, and what this means is the visitor clicks your link, they go look at the stuff, they're interested, they're not interested, maybe they come back a week later and purchase, and then you get the commission. And it's all tracked through this little tracking code called a cookie. cookie. You don't need to know anything about that. All you do is you get your links and you get your audience who knows you, likes you, and trusts you. Why did you say I don't need to know anything about the cookie? I want to know about the cookie. To click on your and they're ready for your recommendation. Now that little bit I just dropped there, the no like and trust part is what makes affiliate marketing work. Because a lot of people when they hear about affiliate marketing, they think, wow, I just go get these links from over here and I just get to go spam them everywhere. I'll spam them on Reddit, I'll <laughs> spam them on Facebook. No. That is not the way no. to affiliate marketing. That's approach. not what I was and thinking. Really Affiliate marketing is like the original influencer marketing. What it is is we affiliates need to go use content to grow an audience and to build trust with that audience. So here you're witnessing this in action, right? Like this video is one of the pieces of content and the goal here is not to sell you something, it's not to promote something, it's to connect you and I together and for me to demonstrate that I can help you. For me to maybe be able to potentially build a little bit of trust in your eyes versus all of the other people in this space. And then at some point when you get into the world of keyword research, maybe you'll find my keyword research videos and you'll be like, oh, I remember that Miles guy. He was super helpful. I'll watch his video about keyword research, okay? Then you watch the video. I show how I use the paid premium keyword research tool that I use and love. And you're like, wow, that is brilliant. I want that tool. So you click on my link and you make your purchase. And in that moment, I have earned a commission. So it takes lots and lots of content and it takes growing a relatively large audience in order to truly be successful with affiliate marketing. So how do you build your audience and where do you publish the content? These are great questions. And generally it's going to be one of three places. The first place and the top level of what I recommend is on a blog. It's a self-hosted WordPress yes, blog, which blog. is also called WordPress.org. No. I need to write this down. I need to write this down and then I need to have it just posted up around my place. Don't forget the blog. You know, stuff like that. Um, I'll be right back. Don't go away. and you, you don't know how to get it going, on my website, milesbeckler.com, on the top navigation, it says how to start a blog. Click there, step-by-step -step tutorial that will teach you how to get your blog started. And in it, yes, there are affiliate links for web hosting and for the theme that I personally use. 
Now you can't start a blog without doing web hosting, without buying web hosting. So eventually you're gonna buy web hosting anyways. And this is another opportunity. Now, I'm not saying that in hopes that you actually go click. I'm saying that from a point of full disclosure. So you can understand how in these educational moments that I'm sharing with you, there is the opportunity to lead you down a path that's gonna help you get the result that you want building and running a successful affiliate marketing business while incentivizing you to potentially kind of work with me. I'll guide you on that path and I can earn a commission when you take my recommendations. So the number one place I recommend is the blog. Now you're like, Miles, but you're on YouTube and you say the blog is number one. Why? First and foremost, I have a very robust blog that gets thousands of visitors per day. So don't think that I'm only on YouTube. I'm doing both of them. Secondly, blogging is what a blog post will show up on Google. Okay, so blogging connects to Google like videos connect to YouTube. And Google has significantly more people searching significantly more often than YouTube does. So what that means is there's greater potential with a blog. There's a greater potential for more traffic. And the law of large numbers is important in the affiliate marketing business. You need an audience. You need to be connecting with hundreds, thousands, or tens of thousands of people every single day in order to get the numbers in your favor to build a truly successful affiliate marketing wow. business online. So Google having 2 trillion searches per year, which equates to something like 6 billion searches on every single day, that just means the opportunity for you to deliver answers, to go be helpful to people looking for solutions on Google through a blog is actually the number one. Okay? The second place to publish is right here on YouTube. YouTube is the second most used search engine in the world. It's a little bit more difficult because a lot of YouTube users don't leave YouTube very often, but at the same time, there's a little lower level of competition because you gotta get on camera. And this moment of being on camera freaks some people out. It's not required, it's totally an option. The third one is using paid ads. And I'm gonna just go ahead and say Facebook ads is kind of the third option right now today because mainly the opportunity to get your message out in front of really, really targeted audiences. Now, Facebook ads and affiliate marketing are not as simple as some people make it seem. Uh, you never wanna put an affiliate link directly in a Facebook ad. You always wanna send them to your own landing page to get your lead magnet, and then you use email marketing in order to follow up with them. And ultimately, through the email is where you present your affiliate links. So let's say you help people lose weight, you advertise a seven day fitness challenge, they get on your email list, it follows up with them for seven days, and at the end you recommend daily burn for daily workout videos, and if they click through your link, and if they purchase daily burn on your recommendation, voila, you have just made a commission in that moment. I hope this all makes sense. Now, it's relatively simple to explain, but it's not exactly easy to put together. And I do wanna remind you that you have access to some free tutorials from me. So number one, the first step, what do you do from here moving forward? The first step, you need to choose your niche. You need to find a niche. And for a lot of people, this is extremely difficult. Now, I have a five minute niche finder method that I've taught. It's on my blog. So again, if you go to milesbeckler.com on the navigation, it says find a niche. And if you go through that post, it's gonna walk you through the process of finding a niche in five minutes or less. And if no one else teaches this method, it's super simple and it's 100% free. Then you start your blog and you start publishing content. Now, if you want the step-by-step -step kind of 30 day, what do I do in the first 30 days? 60 days, what do I do in the first 60 days? And the 90 day game plan, I want you to check out my deeper dive affiliate marketing tutorial. It'll pop up right here in the end screen. You can click on that. It'll take you to that video. It's the deep dive training. I hope this has been helpful. Give me a thumbs up, a like, comment, ask me questions in the comment. I appreciate you and look forward to connecting with you on the next video. Till then, be well. Well, so uh, tell me what you guys think of this guy. Um, is he is he legit? Is he a is he a what what do you say? S s scammers and spammers? Is he a scammer and a spammer? I don't think he is personally. This guy sounds to me like uh, he's pretty legit, and I'm definitely gonna check out uh, what else he has. Um, The blog thing, though, that kind of throws me for a loop. So all this is pretty new to me. I've never been really techie. And I've definitely never had a blog. So that's going to be interesting. Um, 
let me know what you guys think if anybody has any uh, questions or ideas or you know, anything you know send me a message and um, you know if you can help me get this thing going um, you know I'd appreciate any kind of help and uh, like I said before uh, we are offering prizes to the first hundred subscribers so uh, give me a shout out whoever you are the first hundred and let me know um, who you are and if you want something sent to you um, other than that uh, be good I'm out